And we are back. Our second guest tonight, oh my God, is a phenomenal talent. Uh, he reached the top eight on the TV show, The Voice, while on K uh, Kelly Clarkson's team, and is a local man about to record his first EP. Uh, he's got so much more to come. Uh, please give it up for Rod Stokes. <laughs> So Rod, um, you're, yes, sir. you're basically kind of an honorary local. You grew up uh, in Grand Bay, just right here on the coast, yeah? Well, I grew up in Moss Point and uh, graduated from Van Cleef High School and uh, moved to Grand Bay once I married my wife. So uh, I'm a Mississippi boy. Um, how did your music start? Was that something that started with the voice or something that started with instruments? Uh, well, instruments. I started playing the drums at 14, teaching myself in my garage well, my parents' garage. <laughs> I know I wore them out with with all the beating and banging. So, uh, and I just gravitated. My senior year of high school, I started singing. Well, the fun, you know, our our my my kid's a drummer, but the, but the, the, what I found is is the the stuff that sounds good isn't really banging. The stuff that sounds bad is that's the banging. Yeah, it was bad. That's it the was stuff bad. That's, when that's I started, it was bad. <laughs> um, were there any uh, bands or songwriters that you followed that that inspired you? growing up that made you decide to kind of take this path? Growing up, I was raised, growing up, I, I was raised in the church. I was raised strict. And so like all my fam my parents listened to was gospel music. So uh, we would sneak out to the shed, my sisters and I, and uh, we'd take an old, it was an old uh, stereo system. With, it had like a little plastic top with a record player on it. And we'd run some tin foil and and listen to 90s country music. So I, I grew up listening in that old white shed to Garth Brooks, to Tim McGraw, Faith Hill, I mean, Shenandoah, I mean, you, you name it. I, I love 90s country music. You can't beat 90s country. No. Now, you, you, you're you most known for just recently being on The Voice. Yes, sir. Um, and, and did you, and I know you had to audition for that. I always wondered, do you have an audition for the audition for a show like that? Do you have to like audition to get the audition or do you just go straight to the audition that we see on TV? My journey was a little bit different. I, um, July the 11th, I'm sorry, January the 11th of uh, 2018, I submitted a video to Snapchat. And uh, long story short, the voice of Snapchat chose me. And I ended up being on Kelly Clarkson's team on Snapchat. Well, I finished second place on The Voice on Snapchat. And uh, they asked me if I wanted to come out for a private audition uh, June 18th of uh, 2018. What was it like at one point having every judge? Because at one point, every judge wanted you, right? What was that? What, how, did, how did that feel? Uh, well, I had a three chair. I was a three chair turn. I had Adam Levine, John Legend, and Blake Shelton. And uh, Kelly didn't turn for me, which I was uh, disappointed because she was my original choice. I was going to say that's weird. Yeah, she was my first choice because, like, she's a soul singer, country singer. You know, she can pretty much sing anything. And, and I she's mean, she's Southern. Yeah. But, but she stole you eventually, right? She did. She, I she ended up on everyone's team, everyone but John Legends. But he turned for me. So, <laughs> um, what was it like? I mean, was what were the differences between, for example, working with Blake and working with Kelly? Ah, uh, Blake's just a laid back guy. He's just laid back country boy, and Kelly's more like climbing on your shoulder. Hey, try this. Let's do this. <laughs> you know, she. We had one instant like. Uh, we were in there and, and I look around and she has a nachos bel grande crunching on it during <laughs> during rehearsal, during practice, off camera practice. And uh, she sings with me, she sang with me and it just, we had the best time. I was gonna ask you about that. What was it like being able to do a duet with her? Oh, I mean, that... it, was, it was a dream come true. I mean, knowing that, you know, we could, we could sing together and me being the last person, on, last man standing on her team was pretty incredible. Do you find that that the fact that she was on a a a show like that, that being American Idol, and had gone through that journey, that yeah. she had maybe a different insight that some of the other judges didn't have? Because oh, definitely. It was a comp singing competition show. Yeah, definitely. She understood like every emotion that we were feeling. I mean, it was it was intense. I mean, it was it was it was chaotic at times. Do you, um, and this is something I've always kind of wondered about those things. Do you have, I mean, do you have the, do you guys ever get to 
stay in touch at all? In other words, if you had a situation where you were doing something and you needed input on something, would you be able to reach her and get her if you wanted to? Or is once the show's done, kind of, it's just... Uh, I've been of... gone for three months now, a little over three months, and I talked to her about a week and a half ago. And uh, she told me whatever whatever I needed, she would help me. Well, she's got her own and, talk show now. And hook me up with the it's right little, people. So we can Give her a little nudge. She's yeah, got, she, just, was, she just got her own talk show. I now. mean, it's yeah. not as good as this one, but... <laughs> of course. You know. <laughs> um, now, um, we've been told that one of the originals you're going to play for us was inspired by a line that she actually gave you. Right? Uh, yes, sir. She gave me a diary. She gave everyone on her team at the time. It was the uh, top 13. And um, she gave us all a diary. And she wrote down a line. She said, whatever came to her mind first. And um, she handed me the diary, and I wrote around it and completed a song. And I was able to write with uh, a girl named Jamie Floyd, who was on Real Country this past year with Travis Tritt, Shania Twain, Jake Owen, uh, and Rachel Thibodeau, who wrote Good Direction with Luke Bryan for Billy Currington. So I wrote with them, and uh, I'm pretty blown away, like, the outcome. Now, what can we expect for you in the future? I think you're going to Nashville to record soon, yeah? Uh, yes, sir. I've been to uh, Tennessee four times in the last three and a half weeks, and I'm leaving <laughs> Saturday to go back to finish my EP. So uh, just hopefully it's all original songs, and uh, I have one song that, that I'm excited to, well, actually all four of them I'm really excited about, but the one with Kelly I'm, I'm super excited about. Um, so John is on local country radio, so I'm sure she's got a question for you. What you got? I do. So we've been talking about you clearly for a while now, um, and you're kind of big in the local scene, and you have a following, and now that you've been on TV, you've got a massive following. My question is, I go on the radio all the time and urge people to come join us at these concerts here on the coast, these huge artists. What is your dream venue to play? Oh my gosh. Because uh... I know some artists like Intimate and some dream of playing the venue they grew up going to and some want to play you know new york city i don't it, it's crazy like i was on tv so i was actually able to sing in front of millions as an old country boy from south mississippi you know it was so humbling like every week week in and week out you know i was i'm trembling going on stage but i would probably garth brooks is doing a a, a stadium tour and uh I would probably just love to maybe fill a stadium up one day. It, it wouldn't even matter to me which football maybe stadium. Maybe go fill in. And then, of course, is the Opry, yeah. too. That's I another, mean, that's the, another yeah. big Or the Ryman, yeah. yeah. That would be incredible. I mean, it's just so many. Like, yeah. It's kind of like when you get to a peak of who's the best, greatest musician ever, or who's, who's the best singer it's ever. Hard. It's like you can't really point that out. because Tiny Tim, we all know it's Tiny <laughs> So, Rod, we look forward to hearing from yes, you later sir. on. Thank, Thank you. you for being on the show. Thank you. Uh, and we'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you.